long game again. Okay, because that one was a bit quick. And this opponent's still playing quick as well, so... It's looking a bit dicey. Let me just uh, see what's actually happening here. Hmm. We bring the knight up here. Uh, there. Do we capture with the queen? Hmm. Taking this pause because when they're moving this fast, I'm not getting the proper full benefit of the game. So I'm capturing here nice and steady. It's not a blitz match. It's 30 minutes with a five second increment. I'm hoping that my, my opponents are actually finding the better moves. So if we can take a bit of time just to relax and chill a bit. I might enjoy the games a bit more. Okay. All right, so we've come out, bishops attacking. This could be an issue if we let that slide. Um, we could do preventative moves by going here. You know, stopping the knight from jumping here. We'll push this. Opening up the queen. Push that, open up the bishop, bring the bishop out. Uh, I'm going to go for a small move, just stopping the knight from going there. Don't really like doing preventative moves, but it does look a bit dicey. That that's what they're looking for, attacking here. And they've gone really quick again. I'm looking for players that are really wanting to look... For the best moves. This is attacking through the centre, but it looks fairly simple. I'm just going to push the pawn here, opening up my dark square bishop, potentially leaning on the king here. So it's positional play rather than the tactics type thing that we're looking at. So they've developed. Still feel they're moving a bit quick, but we shall see. We do have the bishop coming here, but I'm always mindful of the queen coming here with a check. Then the knight comes there, pawns pushing down, takes, takes. Yeah, so that's a bit of an issue. Bring the knight out. Just kind of thinking if I am taking my time, then I've got a defensible rationale. And if I am taking my time and it goes all a little bit pear-shaped, then I need to go back to the drawing board, evaluate as we do, and uh, look at what went wrong. Potential overthinking. Blocks that off, blocks that off. Need to develop our bishop, like we said. So now... Because of the move order, we've brought the knight here, the queen isn't now coming here to put a check on the king. So it's the smallest of details, because I've fallen foul of that so many times, bringing the bishop here, thinking, yeah, then the queen comes here. It's not a winning thing for them, it's just that we lose tempo. They've gone for the old king safety, which is good. Slowed it down a little bit. She's just going to take the knight off the board. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing along in castle. We're on 26 minutes at the minute. The opponent's on 29. It's a 30 minute, 5 second increment. The opponent's hardly using any time up. So I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to make the mistake of not actually taking the fullest amount of time that they can to actually make appropriate moves. 
He's left this pawn here that's under a threat, also attacking this bishop as well. So we bring the knight across. Bishop can come back to defend it. But it gives us a moment of a little bit of a tempo, it's nothing major. That's what it looks like to me anyway. <laughs> Defending the bishop. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, so it's um, pretty straightforward is that one. I'm not taking it straight away because I'm just thinking and um, pondering on if there's anything else that needs to be done. So the knights hunt the bishops, queen comes down, queen's in the centre of the board. But it is opposite our king area, so he does have some sort of play, manipulating with the knight somehow, getting the bishop through. Doesn't look too devastating. I think taking the bishop looks okay for us. Okay, so what to do? I'm interested in attacking this pawn. I don't know why it looks okay, but solely because he's got his queen there. If we attack, his pawn maybe takes, queen takes, and then again I'm looking for this exchange of my but his queen can come and take the pawn here, can't it? Okay, so up, pawn takes, queen takes. Queen takes, the queen is down on the far side, is there any magic? There's no magic, at, no, can't really see anything there. That would be quite nice, but it doesn't follow on. It doesn't follow on. Bishop's still on the back, so it could just elevate the bishop while he's working out what to do. There's, no, there's nothing meaty here for this type of stuff, like we said. I can't really see it at this moment. He might be looking to jostle this type of situation with the queen to get the knight involved. There's nothing meaty for us to attack. Pawn could push onto his queen, but he's got two pieces there. I'm going to bring the bishop through. Just get it off the back, so at least we're almost linking our rooks up. I don't feel suffocated. The opponent's got to earn. He's coming for the... I was just about to say the cheap move, but I'm going to say it, the cheap move is now targeting the king area, but it's a little bit too obvious. Okay, because preventions are in store quite nicely. So we'll do that just so that we get that out of the way. Like I mentioned earlier, there's nothing too meaty per se. I mean, it's got like the knight potentially coming here, maybe looking for the queen to come here. So he may have to bring the queen first here get the knight there so he may have lost the tempo by doing this poor move actually okay so they're attempting to squish by you know pressuring the king area but as we mentioned before i don't think there was anything meaty to per se but this is why in an essence i think the opponent may be down maybe too tempy because they're attempting to try and squish our king area but their pieces i don't think they're in the right position i might be wrong i might be totally wrong Now we need to develop the knight coming across and defending the area, potentially coming here. All simple defences. Probably trying to open up our king area. But like I say, I'm not actually panicked about it. Normally I'd be panicked, you know. I mean, we've got also this here, knight attacking the pawn and the queen. Like I said, he's going to try and open up the king area. Can't really see too much with that. Knight can come here, can go there. Bishop can attack here, coming through onto this side. There is nothing meaty. He comes there. I 
paint drops in here stuck in this pawn our knight can go there if his queen goes there anyway so that's no issue so just bring the bishop through here and attack 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 opening up space for the queen as well also onto his um, bishop so whilst they're floundering i think they will take because they're trying to open up but we'll put pressure onto his queen by capturing here so this is probably one of those games where i say if i was playing as white um, and I was then looking to focus on attacking the king area as best possible. I'd feel like I was wasting my time trying to do that. I would probably <clears throat> backtrack and try and get my rooks into the game and find a weak area. So now the knight's gone back, so he's gone out to come back in potentially, I think. That's what I think he's doing. out to come back in if our knight does attack his queen which is quite nice we get a pawn but he might be giving that up so that he comes here but now his knight is out of the game for a moment he loses a bit of tempo so i'm going to attack the queen smaller piece attacking a higher piece so we're six moves at six minutes uh <clears throat> down on time our opponent's two minutes down on the time because they're moving quite fast but we're looking at getting the positions on the board rather than looking at the tactics and he's squeezing the king the queen down like we said but there's nothing supporting that particular attack you see it's so now that the knight has gone back he's, he's probably three tempi behind i'm hoping that's what i'm hoping anyway That, that piece isn't supporting the queen this bishop's not supporting the queen we can bring our queen here now looking to start pressing towards his king area with our nice bishop attack coming through onto here we've got the knight that potentially can come here squishing his own king area so with this loose queen here this bishop here is no real attack on the king area which is good for us so the answer process the opponent attempt is attempting to do it but you have to work your pieces together i think he's still going to try and mash there but if he does then our queen takes so now they're taking the time over the moves and i think at this stage of the game it's probably too late so retreating is probably the best course so he's still attacking attacking but he's opened up space around his king his queen is stuck there all alone there's nothing meaty that can happen his knight can come and attack our queen so we're going to be mindful of that and we can take this pawn opening up the diagonal for the bishop which is really good and that's like the key square there for a checkmate so we may as well take this pawn So it looks like the opponent at this moment in time has given us <laughs> fingers crossed has given us a checkmate position which is here if they lose their mind and they go here then the bishop takes the knight for free anyway I do think his queen is going to come back and attack the, the knight So yeah, at this moment in time, it looks like we didn't do anything in this game. The opponent gave us that position because we understand the what they were attempting to achieve, which is like the, the answer process, which is attacking the king, Gary. But you have to do that with all your pieces together. So I believe anyway. So now they're taking the time but like i said really taking your time at the early part of the game probably pays more dividends and um, because there's quite a lot of good players that i'm playing against who are you know they you can see that they understand how to play the game and stuff but because they're moving just that little bit too fast i think that that, that concentration bit is disappearing so they're losing out on actually they're playing their best game
That's what I think anyway. Uh, so where are we going with this? Queen could drop in here because it's got a little check on his king. His king hides in the corner here. And then that gives his rooks opportunity to start pressing onto our queen. And we can't take the pawn because the knight is protecting. So we're going to keep that in the back pocket for now. This pawn's got no protection on it. So we can start bringing the rook into the game. Attack here. And potentially attacking the bishop as well. Potentially getting a nice position here. To help support any attacks here. So it's definitely just looking at simplification. What the opponent's actually given to us in this game. So it's been quite a relaxing game. But I needed a longer game because that first game was a little bit too quick. It's looking okay, I think. But I'm always open to getting shocked, aren't I? Queen can't really do anything here. He's not going to take there because he loses his queen. I would have thought the knight was coming here, but it can't come there now. He's probably going to get his rook into the game or bring his queen back, like I said, to attack the knight. Because the knight doesn't have anything on it. So I'll probably bring the knight back here. He's blocking the bishop a bit, but maybe we can't go there yet. No. So I think one of these will attack the knight. Bishop's protected by the pawn at the minute. Unless, of course, he's doing some sort of... Ooh, what's going on now? Some sort of rook manoeuvre. That didn't come into anything that I was working out. I mean, this pawn is still kind of free. And the bishop behind it is kind of free as well. So we'll just continue as... I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what that rook move was. You looking to double or something, or getting some protection around his king, or is he wanting to move his king? Is he? Yeah, I don't know. Or oh, he's trying, maybe trying to avoid the queen coming here and then bringing the rook here, so he's got protection in front of his king. I don't really know. So the queen's come back now, attacking our rook. So the queen had to retreat. Attacking our unprotected rook. So we've got to be mindful of our unprotected pieces. Knight and the rook. Let's bring the rook to support. Because now we're doubly attacking this bishop. Trying to get my pieces working together as best possible. This has got no protection. The knight. So I've got to remember that. And not to jump here because the queen will just take the rook because it's got no protection. So I've got to be also mindful of that. So I potentially have to come here if the rook is going to attack the knight. I don't think there's any fancy sacrifices, is there? Knight here, bishop takes. Rook takes, no, bishop takes. Pawn takes. Rook. Ooh, no, 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 no. Rook attacking the queen. Yeah, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? I think. Rook comes. Knight here. Pawn takes. Bishop takes. Bishop don't have to take, obviously, but, you know, I think they probably might. Oh, okay. That's a horse of a different colour. They're never doing anything that I say. How many, how many videos have I said that? I'm doing all the calculations in the world. This is why I say don't over-calculate, because <laughs> half of the time they don't do it what you think they're going to do. They've wasted all that brain power. So how many pieces are on this? He's got a queen and a rook here. And we've got a rook, a rook and a bishop. So let's attack the bishop. If the bishop takes, we take the rook. 
queen's not going to take back because the queen will get taken. So it's like a free free point attack. So this is this game is covering basically I think all the basics of chess in terms of position, all simple moves like the knight moves, the queen moves, but genuinely understanding what the opponent was trying to do, which was trying to squish the king area. And when they did that, they've given us loads of little loopholes, you know, unprotected pieces that we could take advantage of, and the placement, the squares have been free. So it's not been a difficult thing, it's just more a case of a, trying to search for those positions that are going to have a bit of a benefit. Now is attacked. Could I try this thing out? Could I try it out? Could I try the knight sacrifice? Or do I... I might as well just go for the bishop, you know. Might as well go for the bishop because we come here and we've got the three on one still. If his rook takes... Now a rook can take, and we're still on his queen, and we're still protecting the knight. It's for 19 minutes, so that's plenty of time, I think. So that triple, I think, has helped us in that sense. So we're on his queen. So he either takes or moves. And so he's actually taken with the rook, so I think we're just going to take back with the rook. I don't, don't really see a problem with that. But is there a better position? Can the queen come here with a check on the king just to disturb anything? Does he move into the corner? Did anything come in the way of that check? Queen check. Usually in the candidate type things or whatever it is that they do is... Um, it's checks first, checks, threat supporting, blocking, blah blah type thing. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I don't really see a problem with that check. Does he move into the? He moves far into the corner. Then we can take the rook. Or shall we just take the rook? Just take the rook. Is that being fancy? It's not, I don't think it's being fancy, is it? Let's put the check on. See if we can get a squish. Take the rook. Does he? Does he? Does he? Which one does he do? Let's move into the corner. Okay. We'll just take time. Just take time. Don't need to rush anything. Okay, let's take the rook now. We're pressing onto the queen. We've got to mount, watch out that the queen thinks it's coming here. This reminds me of an over the board match I had actually with the opponent. Well, in fact, it was me in this position and I was losing. But then I found a little magic position. I brought my queen around here. This pawn was already here, yeah, in this position like this. And my opponent was going in for the kill. And then I just dropped my queen down and basically got a checkmate. So that was a nice experience. But that's potentially what he could have been working towards. But it looks like he's trying to get around the back either way. Is it? It's coming for this pawn, trying to come for the back. Right, okay. He's also got a 2 on 1 on the knight. So it's got a two on one with the rook and the knight. And there is a situation that can occur quite nicely here. Because our knight is protecting this square. So rook comes here, rook takes, knight takes. So the knight is in this position. So be careful here. I have to be very careful here. Knight ends up here. And then the queen's got potential for checking on the king. Yep. So check. Checks first, as we say. So 
seems like a weird way to work around it but it seems fairly straightforward now just have to be careful that he don't get this somehow but i think we've got potentially enough checks on his king to be working or else we're going to fall into the situation that i said i got a while back over the board he does take grab not a checkmate exactly but if I get this I don't know yeah the bishop's going to be facing here I think his queen is just going to he's, he's thinking let's take this let's get that but that's two moves away three moves away he's not going to have enough traction I don't think he takes then we bring our queen here for a check his king looks to escape on a white square but then our queen can come back again attack so it's going for a drawn position we don't want that so this white square bishop would be able to come here wouldn't it and that would be checkmate i think yeah so if he decides to take we come with a check he might always bring his queen back you know just to protect his king that's probably well it's just going to get taken into so he takes queen in comes here then the bishop can come here because it's got support of the queen and the king can't go anywhere so that oh hold on a minute it can oh they've resigned damn okay interesting game again based on speed i think i think genuinely um it would have been a tighter game if the opponent had played these pieces together towards the king area and um, yeah it would have been more interesting but it seemed to fizzle out the attack on the king side fairly quickly so yeah interesting game